Okay, we're going to do a crankshaft sensor from Bosch, from FCP Europe. As you can see, it is magnetic on the tip. So this is the new one. And we're going to take the old so one out. first thing, remove the air filter box. And then we'll get into the mass airflow sensor. Okay, so just get a screwdriver into here. And then just flip that off like that. And then this will come out. clip clip in the back down here a bit hard to see that little silver clip just click your screwdriver flip that back and then it should just pull out press your tabs in press your tabs in on the Cable and pull shit, pull that out. And we're just so going to pull the oil vapor hose out, get that out of the way. Then we're going to remove this elbow here, which is just a matter of lifting that clip up there. Right, let's get this. Unclip that one. And then there is another one down the bottom. Maybe it's on the other side. There's another one somewhere. There it is. Let's put the screwdriver down and you can pop that one out. Hose is connected here. Get that one off. Alright. Just watch out you don't lose your automatic transmission plug all right okay so i've taken the fuel injection plastic cover off so we can move these cables around we've had to cut the cable tie down here and we can now you can't really see it on the camera but right down there is where the crankshaft sensor is so we're probably going to take this bracket off here as well this bracket here which bolts here which has the starter cable to it so we can get our hand down there because it is very well and truly buried down in there okay there it is right down there i've already unplugged it i am honestly i am sitting on top of the motor in order to be able to get my hand down there and unplug that there's the plug there there's the plug a clip on this side we've got to squeeze to get it off looks like it may be a little bit broken on this side however i've got to get that out now there is a screw hidden down on one side that i need to get to okay so there's the screw it's a hell of a mission to get this out right it's a number nine socket fits needed that and a universal two extensions and the one that has come out is oily and it is not a mercedes nor is it a bosch it is the v n e so it's not a bosch so we're going to run some tests on it 
and see if it's started to fail. Okay, so they're both magnetic. This one here, the VNE, triple war zero, is a much stronger magnetic pull than the Bosch one. And the color ohm reading is 0.669, whereas the Bosch one is 1.071 kilo ohm. So the color ohm reading is different and the magnetic pull is different. So it'll be interesting to see if that one is failing.